Today let us see how to write a basic phasor game in a modular way using state manager. This is our node server. We have two images here and phasor library and a HTML file. Remember in our previous tutorial we just showed you how to write a basic phasor game. This is the HTML file and the link to the tutorial is present on your screen. Today. I'll simply write the same game in a modular way using state manager. So I'll just remove this do container and for the demonstration purpose I'll make the width of our game stage to 400 and height to 400 as well and let phaser decide how it want to render our game. It gives first preference to WebGL and if it's not present it uses canvas. I'll remove this. I'll take off these functions too. I'll write it inside our new state in a separate JavaScript file. That's how we could we can manage a larger project. I'll create an object here called technotip and leave it blank for now. Once we have multiple states we would be using this same object and won't be creating it again. You will know it when I write multiple states. For now just remember technotip is an object. We have a we'll write an empty method here. The name of our state is main here. So technotip.main is a function. I'll leave that empty. We need to pass this game object to our state so that we could reference it inside the prototype. So the next thing is technotip.main.prototype. We need to specify define our prototype for this for this state. That means we need to define preloader, preload, create and update methods. We could write our custom methods and we could even write init and other methods given by phaser. For now I'll will we shall just see the preload and create methods. Let's define our preload and create methods. Remember to put comma that is separate these methods with comma. So now we we use this keyword instead which references to our game object itself and then load the image it takes two parameters first one being the name we give to this image we reference to the second i'll call it logo one the second parameter is the actual path of the image file we have two images here logo one dot png and logo two dot jpg jpeg file so i'll give the path here i'll load the other image to this dot load dot image i'll give it another name like logo 2 and its path remember you could give any name here once you give that name you need to use that name to reference these images we could give it org and cvom because first logo is um, is a logo of our technotip.org domain. Second one is a logo of our domain technotip.com. I'll show it to you just in case you want to look at it. Okay, these are the images. The first one I have given the name as org and the second image is referenced with the name cvom. So these two images are already present in the catch and we could access it using this game object which we reference using this object this dot add sprite if you have uh, seen the previous video you know that our images are now called sprites so i'll add the image second image at x coordinate 10 pixels and y co coordinate to 50 pixels and i'll give that image reference name this is our state that is main state we need to add the javascript to the header 
of our HTML file. Remember, we need to add it after, only after the phaser library. I will show it to you the path main.js is present after javascripts inside javascripts folder yeah that's right now we we need to add this state after this line using this game object dot state dot add and we need to give it a name i'll call it main as well comma we need to give the state name technotip dot main remember this is our state name i'll show it to you once again inside our main dot js file so this is our state name so our state is now referenced with the keyword main the first parameter of game dot state dot add i'll turn on our server that is node server we need to actually start this state but before that i'll show you the result so 400 pixels by 400 pixels is our game stage now everything is fine this error message is related to server fav icon we ignore that there are no errors now i will start this state by using game dot state dot start so by this our code inside main dot js will execute and our logos are being displayed on our game stage let me change the y-axis i'll give it 100 to bring the second logo down so i'll change even x-axis to 100 just to show you the demo and it shifts so this is how we use state manager to manage larger game projects and this is a good practice by the way in our next video we will show how to make use of update method and also in upcoming videos we will be showing you how to manage multiple states because you need to manage menu state state and the actual game state the preloader state etc so i'll show you how to manage multiple states in upcoming video thanks for watching please share this video with your friends on facebook twitter linkedin stumble upon etc also visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video and please don't forget to like this video on youtube thank you